A celebration cake. Hi guys, this is Eve from Avani's and today I'm going to show you how to make a soccer player fondant figure. For this tutorial we're going to use approximately 100 grams of ivory fondant, red fondant, blue fondant, a skewer and a styrofoam base. Before we'll start with the tutorial, I would like to point out that there are two kinds of characters we can attach to the body we're making today. The first one is a regular cartoon-like character and we have a free tutorial of it on our website. And the second one is a portrait character, a photo to fondant premium tutorial at ovanis.com. With this tutorial you can learn to sculpt your loved one's fondant character copied from a picture and transform them into any soccer player or other character they like. We are starting with the legs and I'm using 54 grams of skin of colored fondant. Roll the fondant between your hands into a long sausage shape, approximately 20 cm long. Fold it in half and make it thinner on both ends. Place it on a styrofoam base or any base you're using and secure it with a skewer. Next we'll make the shorts, so take a piece of blue fondant Roll it out to approximately between 1 to 2 millimeters. The thinner the better. Cut out a rectangle 5 centimeters wide. Take out the skewer and place it on the lap. Press the fondant between the thighs using Dresden tool or some similar tool. Cut the excess fondant on the sides, but only after you press the fondant because it's going to make it shorter, so make a cut in between and tuck it under the legs. Okay, now we're going to make the socks and the legs seem a bit long, 
so I'm cutting approximately one centimeter from each leg For the socks, roll out the fondant as thin as you can and cut out two rectangles. Put the rectangle around the leg and attach it softly. If you find that your fondant doesn't stick, you can use a little bit of water to help you. Cut off the excess fondant, I'm using scissors, it's just more comfortable. I shape it a little bit at the bottom of the leg to make it thinner. And we're done with the sock. Next, the shoes. I'm using light green fondant. Take two pieces, roll them in between your hands into an oval shape, press with your fingers on one end and shape it into a shoe, just like the shape I'm going to show you now. Thank you. 
I'm making two thin stripes to put on the sides of the pants but of course the details on the uniform is according to the team you are making Next step is the body. I'm using 75 grams of fondant. As you can see, I'm using a green fondant, which is just leftovers I have. You can do the same because we're going to put a t-shirt on top of that and it's not going to be visible. Roll the fondant between your hands and press it into a rectangle. It's supposed to be approximately one centimeter, one half centimeter thick. And just give it a little bit of shape. With your fingers, shape out shoulders. shape out a waistline now for the neck I'm using a piece of skin color fondant and I'm attaching it where the neck should go Attach the fondant to the body and just stretch it down because this is the part that's going to be visible from the t-shirt. Insert the body on the skewer on top of the legs.
Next we are making the t-shirt, so take a piece of blue fondant, roll it out to approximately 1.5-2 mm thick. Cut out a long rectangle, it's about 20 cm long and 8 cm wide. Cut out a small teardrop shape in the middle of the rectangle. I'm using a piping tip to help me. Put it over the body and attach it very lightly because we want it to lay as a t-shirt. Don't press it to the body too much. Cut off the excess. Again, in this position I like using scissors, it's more comfortable. Attach the t-shirt at the sides and after you attach the two parts you can cut off the excess. I'm making a small collar for the t-shirt, just roll out some fondant and cut out a thin stripe of fondant and attach it around the collar.
I'm making details for the uniform, so I'm cutting out two stripes of red fondant and attaching them to the t-shirt. The stripes are approximately 20 centimeters as the t-shirt. But again, of course, all the details on the uniform is according to the team you're making. Attach them to the t-shirt using some water or in my case it just sticks by itself. Next step is the hands and I'm using 25 grams of skin color fondant and the same as the legs we are rolling in between our hands into a long sausage shape um, it's about 14 centimeters long cut it in half make one side thinner and then push out a hand, just squeeze on the end and cut out some fingers. Same with the second hand. Attach the hands to the shoulders using a little bit of water. Do not use too much water because it's not going to stick, just a tiny amount.
for the sleeves roll out some blue fondant and cut out two rectangles about one half centimeters wide Attach the rectangle at the shoulder and tuck it beneath the arm. After tucking the sleeve, cut off the excess and repeat with the second arm. I'm just adding some details and numbers to the uniform, it's not necessary but it's definitely a nice touch, but again it's all according to the team you're making.
okay let's adjust the arms a little bit to make it look more natural and here we go a soccer player fondant finger and now let's talk about the interesting part which is the head you you have two options for the head that you can put on the figure the first one is the regular character it's a cartoon like character it's very easy to make you have a free tutorial that you can download from our website the link is down below and for the second option and i'm really excited to talk about it because this is the best seller to vanis.com this is the premium tutorial on making a portrait out of fondant Okay, this is a product that changed the birthday cake and celebration cake entirely. And just imagine seeing your loved one face when he sees himself on a cake. You can make your child, you can make your husband, you can make a celebrity, you can make your child's head on a superhero's body. The possibilities are endless and this is a truly, truly amazing product. So thank you for watching this tutorial. All the details are in the description box down below at etovanis.com. If you want to watch more tutorials about fondant figures and you guys like us have a passion for cake fondant decoration, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. This was Eve from Ovanis. See you in the next videos. Stay sweet.